Let's go over seven important maintenance steps that any fire stick owner or fire TV owner should be doing. So first one, it's kind of simple, but it's the batteries in your remote. Yeah, I know it sounds strange, right? Like replacing batteries in my remote, why is that important? It's important because if you have low batteries in your remote, this will cause lag. So it may seem like it's coming from your fire stick or, or fire TV device itself, but just because the batteries in the remote are low, it's not having a full connection to your fire stick. And this is what creates lag or what seems like lag on your fire stick. So if you go to your settings, controllers, and Bluetooth devices, go to your Amazon Fire TV remote. From here, you can go to your Fire TV remote and check your battery status. So OK is average. Once it drops below OK, once it says low or whatever it says, it's best to change the batteries. For the average user, batteries last about a month. So this stuff is not common, but it can happen, and, and that's your fire stick overheating. So if, you, if you're the type of person that leaves your fire stick plugged in and your TV on for like a extended period of time, you may have to check your fire stick, just give it a touch, hold it to see if it's hot or not. If, it's, if it seems hotter than usual, unplug it from the TV and unplug it from the power source to give it a chance to cool down. Just don't unplug it while you're using it like I just did. I almost glitched my fire stick out. But yeah, so yeah, just unplug it from the TV and unplug it from the power source. Say if you're going to sleep for the night, just leave it unplugged. And when you wake up, just plug it back. So whenever we open the apps on the fire stick, it usually runs in the background and stop. There's two ways to stop that. The first way is step number three is restarting or resetting your fire stick. To do this, you go to settings, my fire TV. For my fire TV, drop down to restart. Don't hit reset the factory defaults. That'll wipe everything clean. We do not want to do that. Just hit restart. So when you hit restart, this kind of puts your device back in like a, a refreshed state. So it kind of just wipes everything you, you open and everything in the past. It wipes it all out and it refreshes the fire stick. This way you get a more cleaner and smoother performance. This step here is, is kind of, it may be common knowledge to a lot of us, but I feel like there may be a group of you guys out there that's still unsure about this. So let's talk about the internet connection. So we all want the best internet connection for our fire sticks. There's one thing you have to look out for when connecting your internet to your fire stick. You can't really tell on my end. Let me see if I can find a good example here. All right, so here's a, a good example I found here, these two networks. This is not my network, this is my neighbors, but I'm just using them as an example. So you see one says 2G and one says 5G. We always wanna to connect to the 5G. The 5G is the fastest internet connection we can have. It's made for your streaming devices, your laptops, your video gaming systems and stuff like that. The 2G one is made for like outside security devices. Uh, if you got like a uh, Amazon Echo device, little small devices like that that do not require much Internet connection or much Internet speed. In case some of you guys out there are connected to 2G, your 2G network and you, you're experiencing lag, you don't know why. That just means you need to jump to the 5G. But a thing, one last thing to keep in mind about the 5G, it only has a short range. The 2G has a longer range, so it'll go further. But the 5G has a short range. So you got to make sure you're as close as possible to your modem, your internet modem or internet router, so you have that, that solid 5G connection. So step number five is like, like step number three. It's another way to get your fire stick in a refreshed mode so you have a cleaner and smoother experience. So step number five is cleaning the catch and closing the apps in the background. But there's an app that I recommend you use to do this. Let me show you. So we'll go to find, go to search, and just type in back. 
But once you type up back, you'll see it pop up down here. It's the backup apps and process list. So open that up and download this app right here. It'll help you a lot. I already have it downloaded, so it just opened mine up. You see here, these are all apps that's been running in the background nonstop. And it'll continue to run in the background unless you use something like this app to close the apps. So to close these apps, yes, <laughs> self-explanatory slit close all outs but it's a little bit more to it so when you select close all outs what it'll do is bring you directly to the settings where you can close the out or force stop the out so you will press force stop but we want to add another step to this while we're closing the outs in the background we're going to also clear the catch the catch is like trash every time you use an app or a stream a movie it's building up trash it keeps building up, building up, building up, building up, building up until you start to experience lag on your fire stick. So we want to take out the trash. To do that, select clear catch. And you can see that catch number at the bottom. You can see it go back down to zero. That's where it's supposed to be. So we hit four stop, clear the catch, press the back button, do the same thing with the other out. So four stop. You see the cache is at 19.95 cleared so we'll just keep repeating this process until we get to the end and once you press the back button on the last app that you you force stop and clear the cache of it'll bring you back to the home page and then that's it you're done until another week or two or another month when you want to do this again step number six is the most important to me because i feel like a lot of us do this and that's just leave apps we, we never plan on using installed on our devices. Especially with Fire Sticks, this is bad because they have low space. So the more you build up space, the more apps you download and keep on your device, store on your device, the slower your Fire Stick becomes and the more it'll lag. So if you go to our settings, from settings go to my bad, I was about to tell you the wrong thing. <laughs> go to applications for applications. Go to manage installed applications. And from here, you can see all of your installed apps. So say, for example, um, I haven't used this app once since I installed it. Apps like this, y'all, we can go ahead and uninstall it. So just make sure you check your settings and uninstall anything that's holding your Fire Stick back. All right, last step, step number seven. So Fire Sticks, they're always releasing updates i say maybe every month or every two months or so so sometimes especially if you're unplugging your fire stick and traveling with it or moving it to another room something like that it doesn't catch the update so it's supposed to update on its own but sometimes like i said if you're traveling moving your fire stick to room to room sometimes it doesn't update on its own so we have to do it manually to do this, we'll go to the settings, go to My Fire TV, go to About. From About, we'll select Install Update. So, this is a good example right here. My Fire Stick isn't up to date right now. So, this also creates lag because it's not working as best. They got new, well, <laughs> I was going to say they got new parts for the Fire Stick. That's kind of confusing, but it's just a metaphor, just a metaphor. So it's like Amazon, they, they got new parts for the Fire Stick, and you just, you still using the old parts. So we got to get this update so we can get all the new working parts so our Fire Stick can work the best. So you'll just select install update and wait until it does its thing. All right, but that's all I have for you guys. These are the seven steps we all should be doing at least every two months. Well, not every two months, but at least every two weeks or every month to keep our fire stick working at its best potential. All right, that's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out.